Who do you think you are? You will not ruin this for me. I didn't want to do a political show, but I wanted to see what it's like in the White House. I think there's a lot of interest in what's going on in the White House right now. But I wanted to have an interracial couple. I wanted them to be not so great with each other. I wanted to follow them home. I wanted to follow them upstairs to the residence. I want to follow the Secret Service home. I want to follow the, the butler home and the chief of staff home. I want to see their lives outside of politics. So the White House and politics is just there, but their lives is what's so important. And I think that it kind of rolls along the have and have nots and with the drama for me. Victoria is, is not Michelle Obama, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, she has a very strong personality. She's very opinionated. She is no nonsense. She's a get her done type person. And people will probably find that she comes off as a little cold, mm -hmm. to say the least. <laughs> Maybe a little scary. Hunter Franklin is one of those individuals who has sort of lived his dream to the fullest, but also realizes that it's not all he thought it was going to be, and is filled with a bit of regret, and is hyper aware of the damage that the trajectory and success has had on his marriage, and on his family. Jason is a really troubled young man. He's 18 years old in that stage of life where he's figuring out who he is and he's thrown into the White House along with his family without having the experience of really being a normal kid. He's grown up in government all his life. Richard is the head butler at the White House. He's done a few terms there, so he's very familiar uh, with service there. Also ex-military, so he's a man of service. And he's a family man. He's a man of integrity, dignity, and he always tries is to make the right decision, but sometimes circumstances, you know, take them left a little bit. There's a power struggle. Absolutely. And I really feel like it's based in, Hunter wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Victoria, and Victoria wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Hunter. And so when you have a couple that have come together and been so successful, mm -hmm. that has to be based in some sort of universal strength, some sort of universal love, but it does not mean it's not volcanic. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful escapism. It is one of those shows that people will talk about around the water cooler at work. I honestly can't believe some of the scenes that we shot. So um, I don't think anybody, and, I was, and I'm in the show, so I don't, yeah. I think people just tuning in are going to be like, Wait, what? Yeah. So it's uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm really anticipating seeing how far this show could go in these characters. I'm excited for Twitter hashtag the Oval on BET. Yeah. I think people are gonna flip out. It's gonna be a huge conversation starter. People are gonna hate us and love us and have a lot of strong feelings because this family is off. They're just doing it. They're doing the most. So I'm personally really excited to see our fan base and how it grows.